Well, a violent and fiery crash in Encino. Police jumping in action, trying to save the people inside this burning car. But a 16-year-old girl died, and police say it was a 14-year-old behind the wheel. KCAL News reporter Luz Delia Caballero has more on this shocking crash. You know, I'm driving down Ventura Boulevard and the call came out and I can see a big orange ball of fire a block away. Freelance photographer Howard Reichbrook reliving the aftermath of a violent crash at Ventura Boulevard and Balboa Avenue just after midnight Tuesday. Police say a 14-year-old girl was behind the wheel. It was pretty harrowing. I mean, we see crashes a lot doing what we do. I, I'm a photographer. I see them all the time. But to be that close and to have it just explode, you can hear it banging and blowing up the tires, popping and... You know, it was uh, it was pretty dramatic. The car the teen was driving was reported stolen earlier. Officers first tried to pull the driver over for not having the headlights on. Instead of stopping, police say the 14-year-old accelerated and took off, eventually crashing into a light pole. Okay. Nearby security camera footage shows just how fast the car was moving seconds before the crash. I can see LAPD screaming up and running there with their batons and smashing the windows and trying to take the people out. At one point, Brook hears someone else is inside the car, so he hands the camera off to his dad and springs into action. And it was hot. I mean, I was 20 feet and then 10 feet getting closer. It was really, really hot, the smoke too, and grabbed my fire extinguisher and tried to to help. A total of three people were inside the car. The 14 year old driver and 18 year old front passenger were pulled out and taken to the hospital. <laughs> the 16 year old passenger in the back seat died. That kid didn't make it home. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a hard thing to think about. You know, there's a parent out there or a sister you know, or a brother that. Don't get to see their sibling anymore. And loved ones of the person who passed away, too distraught to go on camera, though they left flowers behind not too far from where the crash happened. And you can clearly see the damage left behind on impact. You got to feel for the families. I mean, this is something that shouldn't have happened. We're told it's unclear if the driver will face any charges. Reporting in Encino, Lustelia Caballero, KCAL News.